welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and today we're going to be making a gin gimlet. I always ask for recommendations for cocktails that you would like to see in the comments underneath these videos, and a gin gimlet is one that was coming up again and again, so of course I had to make it. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I have never made or tried a gin gimlet cocktail before. So I did a little bit of research on the cocktail, and I have to say it looks very good. Apparently it goes as far back as the mid 1850s. It originated as a doctor's remedy, so it was being prescribed to fight things like the common cold. It also seems like an incredibly quick cocktail to throw together, which is very handy. I always love a quick and easy cocktail. All right, so let's get started. I just grabbed my gin from the freezer. We're gonna be using the Tanqueray London Dry Gin. Really, really nice gin. I also love the green of the bottle. It's so pretty. I have my lime juice over here. I've squeezed this um, just a few minutes ago. I've also got my simple syrup, which I have whipped up. Um, this is the same batch that I whipped up a few weeks ago. It lasts for a month in the fridge, which is so handy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the measurements. I'm going to use the small part of the jigger because we're going to be doing three parts gin to one part lime juice and one part simple syrup. So this is quite a strong drink. If you've watched the series before, you will know I do not mind a strong drink. I quite like my cocktails to be strong and something that you can sip on. So I think this is going to be really nice. I'm also a big fan of Tanqueray gin as well. And it's always nicer from the freezer if you're taking a shot of it. So good. All right, so let's do our three parts gin. One, two, and three parts gin. So we're also gonna do one part of our fresh lime juice. This smells so good. And then finally, we are doing our one part of simple syrup. This should sweeten it up nicely. So that's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up with ice and then give her a nice shake. I think that's done. Now, my glass is chilling in the freezer, so I'm gonna go and grab it. I love when you take it out of the freezer and it looks like this, it's so satisfying. I'm gonna go ahead and strain this. Because I gave this a vigorous shake in the mixer, I'm going to double strain it just to stop any shards of ice going in. I don't want to dilute the drink. I want it to be as strong as possible. And that is pretty much it. The only thing that's left to do is to add a little slice of lime for the garnish. And it's done. That was probably the quickest cocktail I've ever made. I've made some quick and easy ones here on the channel, but that's probably the quickest. Okay, so I have not tasted it yet, but initial thoughts, she's absolutely beautiful. This frosted mint color looks so refreshing. It looks like a very summery drink. I feel like it matches my dress quite well. I'm very intrigued to actually try this and see if I enjoy a gin gimlet. So if you'll come and join me over on my Dr. Evil chair, we'll see how it actually tastes. Okay, so I am back in my Dr. Evil chair. I am very excited to try this. Let's give it a go. It's so refreshing. It's not at all what I thought it would taste like. I thought because it has three shots of gin in it that it would be very sharp and have a bit of a bite to it. But actually the lime juice and the simple syrup completely soften it. Imagine this outside on a really hot day. Oh, it's beautiful. If I knew someone who really didn't like gin and was afraid of a gin cocktail, I would make them one of these. I think this is the cocktail which will convert a lot of people to gin. Anyone out there who told me to make this cocktail Thank you, I absolutely love it. I now have another delicious, refreshing summer cocktail in my repertoire. So there you have it. That was my take on the classic gin gimlet cocktail. I think it's safe to say that it was an absolute success. I'm so happy I tried it. Please let me know in the comments which cocktail you would like to see me try next. If your recommendations are any bit as good as this one, it's gonna be fine. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers.